Hey everybody, Scott Sprintz here, DocSports.com with our update for Monday, November 26, 2018. We've got a free pick coming up in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, I've had a few people asking me uh, what's the best way to approach it. Well, it's real easy. You click on the link below the video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which by the way, you can use that $60 free account on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. It's real easy to do. Again, free $60 account. Start out by just clicking on that link below the video. All right, well, a nice day in the NFL yesterday. We cashed two out of three. The big play was the seven-star on the Denver Broncos. So uh, we'll take going into next week a 15-2-1 run. Uh, the last nine weeks with our top plays in college football and the NFL, uh, we did lose with the Irish on Saturday, but came back and won with the Broncos on Sunday. So 15-2-1 with our last... 18 top plays college football and the NFL combined. And also now 52 and 28 is our college football and NFL combined record over the past couple of months over at DocSports.com. We've already got just about everything capped for the upcoming weekend, and we're going to have another seven-star play going in both college and NFL this weekend from the way it looks. And those plays will be posted at DocSports.com in a couple of days, and uh, we'll certainly tell you about it uh, on probably Wednesday's video at the latest. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's been a nice run, obviously, and the 2-1 and one Sunday brings, again, that overall record to 52-28. and 28. We went 4-2 and two overall on Sunday. Hope you took advantage of the CFL Grey Cup. We cashed there with Calgary. Had a nice four-star winner in the NHL. Also with Calgary, we're on the Stampeders and the Flames in the CFL and the NHL, respectively. I went 0-1 in college, and I passed in the NBA on Sunday. So overall, 4-2, and two, a nice 67% day with a big seven-star cashing in the NFL. We're now 118 and 81. That's 59% with our last 199 plays in all sports going back a few months now over DocSports.com. We keep hitting in that 58 to 60% range. I'm telling you, check it out. Use that free $60 account to purchase any of those daily packages over at DocSports.com on Monday. I think you'll be glad you gave it a try. Hey, I wanted to update uh, what happened on Sunday in the NFL, the Joes and the Pros. We talked about a few of these games on Sunday's video, and uh, the Pros did well in Joes versus Pros clashes. Uh, the Pros won with Buffalo uh, when they knocked off the Jags. The Pros won with Cleveland when they beat Cincinnati, and by the way, the public was on Cincinnati and Jacksonville, and the Pros won with Miami over Indianapolis uh, sharp money on uh, Miami and the public money on Indy. Uh, we were involved with one of those three games. We had the Miami Dolphins. And as I mentioned, we had the Denver Broncos as the top play. <clears throat> and as far as the biggest bet public side and sharps were on them too. And man, did they drive that number up. The New England Patriots got the win by 14 over the Jets all week long until, oh boy, about game time, a few minutes before game time, you cashed by laying less than 14 points. Got as high as 14 in some shops on Sunday as I was doing the ESPN National Show uh, about a half hour before kickoff. But for the most part, Pat's backers won. All right, uh, again, free pick coming up. Quick note, we'll be right back here on Tuesday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific with our next update. Uh, we do have NBA action on Monday. It'll be available over at DocSports.com during the day. And uh, look at an NHL, and right now we're on a great run. Listen, I don't even care if you don't like the NHL. If you like making money, we've been on a terrific run in the NHL. After Sunday's win with the Calgary Flames, we're now on the 11-2 and run the last 13 NHL plays. We are now 22-9 and on the season, and we're 41-20 and with our last 61 regular season hockey plays going back to last season. Listen, if you like making money, check out Pucks over at DocSports.com. And again, uh, if we do have any NHL for Monday, they will be posted during the day. We do have NBA. That will be posted during the day on Monday. Let's get to our free pick for Monday's college baskets. Uh, we're going to recommend playing Nebraska plus the points over Clemson. That, of course, in Monday's uh, ACC Big Ten Challenge. Both teams 5-1 and one on the year. Problem with Clemson is they would like to play a slower pace for the most part. Uh, but Boy, I mean, not too slow. And you look at one game where they are basically held in check by another team's tempo. You watched against Clemson and that loss, Clemson against Creighton and that loss, 87-82. And you'll see that Clemson played at a faster pace tempo. They can kind of be dictated the tempo to them. Now, Nebraska is going to get in your face. The one caveat with the Huskers, and by the way, Nebraska has a top 20 starting five. I might be shortened by only saying top 20. But I'll tell you what, the bench is non-existent. They just don't have any depth this year under Tim Miles. 
And if they get in any foul trouble at all, as they did against Texas Tech in the second half of their lone loss, they're going to lose basketball games or they're going to play in games that they should win big that they end up in a close, tight affair till the end. What happened to them against Tech, not only did they get in foul trouble, but James Palmer, of all the players, James Palmer was the one that had to get into foul trouble. He fouled out, picked up five fouls. He is by far their best player. And uh, James Palmer, by the way, up for just about every individual award nationally in college basketball this year. We like Nebraska in this spot because they do rely so heavily on their defense. Our one, again, issue is, is that if the whistles are blowing liberally, they could be in some trouble because they want to get in your shirt. And if they get a, a crew, a bunch of fouls early in the game, then all of a sudden it's not the guys we're depending on to get the win for us. But that's only happened to them once in six tries so far this year, once in six games. And we think they're going to let them play on Monday. Then Nebraska can attempt to be that defensive monster they know they can be. Palmer stays out of foul trouble, has a good game. Nebraska goes on to, at the very least, cover the spread. But we're talking around two buckets as far as the number. we got to think that underdog can win the game outright, and we do in this game. By the way, one quick note. There's only two teams in the Big Ten that have a winning record in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. One of those two teams of all teams is Nebraska. They're actually 4-3 and three straight up uh, in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. We like them here on Monday. We're recommending a play on Nebraska plus the points over Clemson. All right, again, uh, just a note, uh, we'll be right back here Tuesday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific with our next report. NBA, NHL, available on Monday during the day. Go grab it over at DocSports.com. If you like what you're seeing here, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. And I'll be back again Tuesday morning. Until then, let's put Monday in the win column. Best of luck on tonight's card.